Well, groundbreaking research done by scientists at Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology, along with international collaboration, has led them to link a genetic variation in a gene called ZMIM3 with neurodevelopmental disorders. Our Sedona Meadows breaks down this research with one of the scientists who worked on the study. Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology conducts several research studies dealing with genomic sciences, often working with kids who have neurodevelopmental symptoms. Maybe they don't walk or talk at the expected times. We usually sequence their genomes looking for some sort of answer to why they may be having these, these various symptoms. Those patients enrolled in the studies provide a cell sample for the scientists who then test the cells for interesting genetic variants. They are taking cells and changing the DNA sequence in those cells to match what is seen in the patient and then sort of looking at some functional qualities of that changed protein to see if it acts the same as the one without the mutation or not. The hope is to be able to find variants in the same gene among patients with similar clinical characteristics. In 2018, genetic research began on one patient from Alabama. We found this interesting variant in, in this gene, this interesting change, and we submitted that gene to a website called Gene Matcher. And if another researcher around the globe is also interested in that gene and has submitted that to Gene Matcher, we will get their email address. Throughout four years, Susan Hyatt, a senior scientist at Hudson Alpha, corresponded hundreds of emails with at least 30 different international researchers looking to see what kind of variants we found, what kind of changes, what kind of symptoms their patients may have. Through that international connection, and data collection. We eventually ended up with 27 children across the globe who have some sort of variant in this one specific gene, ZMIM3, and have developmental delays or different developmental disorders. Hyatt says this discovery supports the idea that this genetic variant in the gene ZMIM3 is probably a developmental disorder gene, which will help other testing laboratories and patients across the globe looking for answers. We have a lot of these gene matcher collaborations, and so we have a lot of, hopefully a lot of answers that we will find for more families in the future. In Huntsville, Sedona Meadows, Fox 54 News.